hello thanks for joining and you're welcome back to my youtube channel this video we're going to see how you can quickly modify your se linux file context so this could be a file or directory context so first we need to check uh, the se linux file context how do you do that usually if you want to check the files that you've got in a given directory you can use ls but ls with uh, an option of dash z will give you more information uh, which is beyond what the normal ls would do but ls dash lz ls dash lz uh, let me specify say the home directory so you can see uh, you've got the user login user you've got another user these are users in the home directory but the information that's important here uh, is this context so user this is the file se linux file context user home dir uh, dash t and uh, unconfined dash u so this unconfined user it means se linux isn't monitoring uh, this file it's it, se linux isn't um applying any restrictions on the file so if i clear and do an ls dash lz a long listing with with se linux context on var uh, www which is the uh, httpd uh, directory you can see uh, it's 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 a different context. So system U, if you see the context here, the file context is HTTPD, is uh, script exec. So this an executable. Uh, this 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 a file. This a script that can be executed when the uh, web server is running. So let's say you've got a new directory. So let's create this uh, directory. We can call it uh, secure, for example, slash secure. If we ls dash lz, that's l l lz on uh, slash secure, right? You will see the file context if there is a file in the directory, but it's it's empty just now. So we can just touch uh, a new file in secure. Let's call that just file one dot uh, txt. It's there now. LS, if we want to see the SE Linux context, so LS dash LZ on secure, so slash secure. So you can see it's unconfined. SE Linux isn't uh, worried about this. Uh, but then the, the context, the file context is a default context. So to change this to a file context, other than the default context for instance the file context for the, the context se linux context for the slash home directory um, for the two users we checked earlier you can see it's a slash home dir underscore t and then slash same for the the two use uh, the the second user login user and srv001 user if you want to modify that for this where are we if you want to modify that for the new directory for this secure directory this context it's easy we just say um use we use the se manage uh, uh tool that's se manage command if se manage is not installed you can just use uh check yum what provides right what provides se manage so it's going to check and tell you what application what uh, package you need to install i already have uh, se manage because i have installed policy core utils so that's fine we can use that so se manage se manage um we're trying to add a file context which is append we are adding dash a and um what do we want to add what uh, type do you want to add the type of the, uh, the context we want to add is this is default the one we want to add is the user slash home let me type that user user slash home 
user underscore uh, home underscore uh, dir uh, underscore t that's the the type and in for what directory do we want to do uh, we, we do we want to um, add this so we we want to act basically use the uh, slash secure directory and um, for slash dot uh, asterisk what this is so okay that's that's fine but if we do ls dash l z here secure slash secure isn't ls dash l z slash secure you can see it's still unconfined and um the default uh, context file context is what's still uh, applied so what we need to do is uh, make use of the restore con so we are restoring the context to what has been um, applied so restore con dash r on what directory so dash r where recursive all the contents of the directory slash uh, slash slash r dash r on the secure directory slash secure directory so hit enter now ls dash l z on secure would have that uh, file context modified to user dash home uh, dir if you want to list just uh, that's that's essentially it but if you want to list all the file context you can use f um, se manage f context file context uh, dash l to list you can it's going to give you like everything that you've got on system like all the file context but you can as you can always uh, search for specific grep for example for http for instance so anything with http um will be you know uh, shown you you would have all the file context that contain uh, http so that's uh, it actually um i would like to thank you for watching if you're new, new to the channel please consider subscribing